it's Jenny B from VitalityByJenny.com and I am about to eat my arm off. I'm so hungry. <laughs> that it, So it's more than past time for lunch, but I was running around this morning doing errands and so let's see, it's been seven hours <laughs> since I've eaten breakfast. And so I'm very hungry. So I'm going to make myself some, a little raspberry, blueberry, and banana bowl. And I'm going to cut up my bananas while I talk to you guys. So normally I don't eat raspberries. I just, for some reason, they're, they've never appealed to me. I just don't like the taste and the seeds kind of are... I don't know, I'm just not, not a fan of them. <laughs> but, as I said, I'm a bit late for lunch because I was running errands. One of my last errands was to run by Costco because I didn't get everything that I needed at Whole Foods the other day. So, I was there and I was hungry and I was running around the fruit section because um, it's about the only section that I shop in there. And, um, the raspberries just stood out to me so much that I had to pick two quarts of them, two little cases of them. Um, and so I just kind of wanted to suggest to you that if you are ever in a situation where you're not feeling intrigued by raw food or by you know, the food that you know is the best for your body, if it just isn't sounding phenomenal, then you can play around with um, extending your meal time. So this is tricky because you don't want to undercarb yourself. You want, you don't want to starve or go, you, not starve, but you know, you don't want to skip a meal or anything like that. But if nothing's sounding good, there's no harm in waiting a couple more hours. And you'll be surprised if you do that at what actually sounds good to you when you're actually hungry, when you're quite hungry. You know, a classic example is that you wouldn't normally think of just eating a head of lettuce, right? You wouldn't just eat a head of lettuce plain. But if you were hungry enough, a head of lettuce would probably taste pretty good. So, that's kind of the thing that happened with the raspberries today is that I was so hungry and I was surrounded by all this gorgeous fruit and they just looked, I don't know, they just looked really tasty so I'm hoping that they taste just as good in actuality as they did in my imagination today. <laughs> so, and while I'm making this I can tell this looks, let me throw these away real quick. So, this looks delicious. I can't wait to dig in. All right, so while I was t just stirring this up, it looks like a great 4th of July salad, fruit salad. And I know it's so simple, but look how beautiful that is. That's so incredibly beautiful, and it could be because I'm so hungry right now. But. I think it looks amazing. And how cute would that be on a 4th uh, of July picnic? That would be so cute. <sighs> Which reminds me that we have just planned, I need to start eating. <laughs> One sec. Okay. We have um, booked our traditional 4th um, of July trip has always been to go up to Lake Las Vegas, which is about 45 minutes from our home. And it's just a lake that's kind of in the middle of nowhere and it has hotels around it that um, they do stand up paddle and the little paddle boats and then there's you know pools and then one of the hotels has like a little beach entrance and there's a little casino and some shops up there too but they always light off a really good fireworks show and since Doug and I have been together we have gone there for the 4th of July and so we booked our trip this year, but it was a little bit more interesting because we're planning on moving. So it's just, it's funny how when things are coming, how much more you appreciate, you know, the, the things that you're doing whenever 
it's coming to an end for you. So because we'll probably never have that tradition again. We're going to be starting new traditions, you know, once we move. But since this is our last of this tradition, you know, it just kind of has a different nostalgic effect feeling about it. But um, wouldn't it be interesting if we could have that same feeling, that same, I don't know, nostalgic or that that same um, you know feeling that this is going to be this could be the last but that sounds so negative just feelings that of much appreciation for something so when you see something for the first time or when you see something for what, what you think is going to be the last time you know those types of feelings of taking everything in on such a heightened level, paying that much more attention to it. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to capture that feeling and the essence of that, no matter what we were doing, no matter how many times we've done it before? <laughs> which reminds me now, again, rambling today, which reminds me now of um, this book that I just started reading about parenting, about being a mother, and capturing the deeper meaning of what it is you're doing when you're doing those little repetitious things like cleaning up the toys after they've gotten them out for the, you know, tenth time that day or doing the laundry or sweeping the corners of the, the floors. Any of the little things and just hugging and loving and teaching and all of that with your children. All the little ways that we do that each and every day can become so ritualistic and routine. And I guess it's um, nice to be reminded to look at it in a new light, um, to try not to allow that sense of routine and the same old, same old kind of feeling to creep in there because how much more amazing and how much more full of joy and wonderment, you know, magic can it, can it actually be? You know, it's just a choice that you have to make every day. Am I choosing to feel like this is boring or like this doesn't have meaning, you know, this as I'm cleaning the dishes, you know, or do I want to choose to find the deeper meaning in what I'm doing? Am I, you know, cleaning up, just cleaning dirt out of the house to make it look nice? Or, or am I really making space for the spiritual growth of my, my children and of myself? Am I really making space for all the new wonderful experiences that we want to have come in? You know, I don't know. I know it's a little bit far-fetched, a little out there today on this conversation. It could be because I need some carbs. <laughs> but anyway, I thought I would share some thoughts with you guys, as well as my delicious looking salad that I can't wait to jump into. Um, this would also be really good with some greens chopped up in here and maybe a little orange juice sprinkle on top. But I'm going to eat it just like this right now because I'm so hungry. Okay, I love you guys. I will talk to you soon. Bye.